All right, this is really interesting. Some gorgeous color choices you've got here. Um, I would lower these just a touch, maybe about the height of the E of email. I'd bring it down. And I'd be tempted, I could be still in white. Yeah, okay, interesting. Um, here, I have a problem because I have two starting points. So I go state of the art, then this, then here, or do I jump here? So we're going to have to make a, a standard one way or the other. So here's some suggestions. What if we increase the size of state of the art and just made it bigger so it went right across the fold? Uh, the word the would probably be in the fold, but, you know, it's not that important, and we can easily figure out what the word the is. So I'd be tempted to do that. And it doesn't have to line up perfectly with a column or anything. The end right here, you know, it could be here, 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 whatever. Um, then we can make this double the size of all this type, except for the M. And make it bigger. And then we have state of the art. Um, we've got this. Uh, I'm tempted to make this one line. This James F. Toon, comma, president and CEO. And that way, we could align the top of this and the top of this together right there. You see? We'll lower this one down a little, lift this one up a little, make this one line, have this state-of-the-art bigger and it go across. Okay. Now, we've got this whole type bigger. And then we leave this guy the same size that it is now, and you leave your drop cap. To make them not compete, well, this type's bigger now, so that helps. Secondly, we'll change this to a gray B or a you know, gray or maybe all black type. Just so it doesn't stand out as much as red. Red is a color that's strong, comes forward. So we could do that. Again, the folio strikes me as a little high. I'd lower them here and here. This is really nice. I like your two sizes for the quote. Good job. I am tempted to put another stripe that run all the way across the top that actually overlaps, gets overlapped by this red and is at this angle. So it'd fill in all this space right here and it'd be this color burgundy that's in between your red and in between your purple. So it'd be this color. I'm going to call this purple and I'm going to call this red and I'll call this burgundy. Okay, there's some feedback there. Now this is pretty intense, all this red. So know that this color, this spread just is, you know, bright, strong. It's like slap in the face. Yeah, it feels like rock concert colors or something, or racing car colors, you know, so it's intense. So one idea is introduce one other color. And I'm not really changing your color scheme in any way, and that's because all the photos are gray, and you've used this as a gray. Why don't we just use this very same gray and then you can put that here or here. And it'd be just a little less red. I mean, uh, that's pretty intense. And then um, these guys, they need better contrast. They're going to have to be lighter gray. I think they're like 80% black right now. They're going to have to be like 20% black. So they come across as a gray, but I can still read them on this darker, whether it's a gray or the burgundy. Okay, this is really nice. Um, these arrows slightly big. I'd reduce them maybe 50%. This one here and that one too. I do love the fact that you're using arrows. Um, you do want to kind of scooch this up so they don't overlap the folio, the picture there. Um, art notes. It's a really nice typeface you've chosen. Good job. Again, we don't need the first uh, paragraph indented. We do need secondary paragraphs in Denon. You may want to make, um, eh, I keep it all together as a package. That's working. Okay, that's interesting. I like how this comes in and goes over, and yet it's all related. And yeah, you could have this page read. They, Board of Trustees, they want to call attention to themselves. So yeah, that would work. Um, here, nice division. I like that angle. These pictures strike me as a little small. I... I'd see if I could get this, like, MIR. I know it's going to be tight. I wish I could move MIRs right here, move this to one line, 
then I'd scoot this all up and I'd have more room for bigger pictures. Uh, keeping these all together, that's fine. Again, arrow's a little big, and if I could make them bigger, I would make the pictures bigger. And I'd probably lift this all up and leave more negative space at the bottom rather than this big gap right there. Okay, um, these are nice, except I'd probably break the body copy into two columns. You know, we almost got two columns here, and this, and this side, and this side, and this side. We could easily do that. If you did, I would probably avoid just these two lines and two lines floating. Maybe lift it up or, or lower it so there'd be four lines and then the quote mark or pull quote. Uh, this, this is looking good, looking good. Uh, this type is, you could do it this size if you want to, but know that most people are dropping it down to six point. That's uh, more normal when it comes to these um, donor list things. So that's one thing I would consider. Now it looks like that's the end of the current document. So um, a lot of things I like about this, and I hope that you find my uh, feedback encouraging <laughs> not just pointing out things that are uh, to be improved but also what's really working so some nice color choices although a little on the strong side so you may want to counter that with some gray and then really nice uh, typeface choices as well so good job and thank you